Right, so I'm going to just do a slight modification to the trigger on this and then when I've done that, that's how I'm going to leave it and then I'll also show you a way that you can bend these triggers and also make it into like a treadle plate or a treadle pan if you know what I mean. So, this is all personal preference. What I'm going to do is I want to bend these straight, see where they end up, and then from there I'm probably going to cut a bit off of them. So that's um, relatively straight. I'm going to cut a bit off the end of these. I'll straighten the rest of these up a bit. So that way, so I might just shorten that one a little bit more. So that way now, I've still got plenty of trigger on there. I can bend these apart if I want to, or bring them closer together. But it's not overlapping anything, or anything like that. Some people cut them right off to where they was bent originally. But I'm gonna leave them like that, and if I need to later, I can still shorten them a little bit more. And what I might also do is round these ends off so they're not jaggedy, because that might stop an animal, you know, wanting to push through there as well if these are all rough and sharp on the ends. Right, I'll show you the next bit in a second. Right, so a simple way of making treadle pan is all I've got here is one of these. It's the top of a, that's a dog food tin. The ring pull ones, I took the ring pull off. You could use anything similar, you know, a piece of plastic. There's all sorts of ways of doing this. I'll show you some other ways. But all I've done is got that. And I've cut two slots in it, one there and one there, and then you just slightly pull this bit up while pushing the middle down a bit and that bit, and then you can slot the trigger wires through there, push that down. Do the same the other side. You can always cut these shorter if you want to, so this is more there. Or you could bend these over if you wanted to. I'll just do it like this for now. But what you are going to need to do to actually use this like they do with a treadle plate is these are going to have to be bent over. So these are going to have to be bent over like this. Now I'll see if I can set this up and then show you it again. It's going to be slightly different setting this now. Don't forget to put your safety on. I'll get the safety on straight away. I'm 
Now, what I've probably done straight away, look, is I've bent these the wrong way. Because that is going to be that way. So that's what you've got to remember. That's one part you've got to remember. So this has to be bent back the other way. Like I said, you could bend these over if you wanted to. I'm not going to bother actually, but you could bend them, bend these back over. So we'll start again. Mindful that that stays on. It's a slightly different setup doing like this. It seems different, it seems weird when you do it at first, but because your safety's upside down and your trigger's on the floor, but this is a method what people use. And you can actually buy triggers for actually putting in here. Well, not triggers, but treadle plates. But this is a really simple way of doing it. You know, we've got to take it all apart. When the trap is set up like this, you're definitely going to need the trap to be set on um, you know on a clip or something because where it just freestanding like this it will just fall over when it you know when the animal tries to set it so it's got to be set into something or have some sort of stabilizer to keep it in place I might be able to still set it off, maybe if I hold it. If I hold it with this, I might be able to do it. But you would definitely need to have a clip to hold it in place otherwise. Otherwise the trap, it just falls over. But you get the idea, you travel plate, and then when you don't want it, you can just take that off, bend these straight again, back to where you want them, and then your trap is back to normal, and you can just carry this little bit with you if you need it make a slightly bigger one if need be but simple way of doing that right so cheers for watching and i'll see you later